Hi, this is Jeffine. Welcome to Applications of Deep Neural Networks with Washington University. In this video, we're going to continue with transfer learning and we're going to see how you can use neural networks that you've trained yourself for feature engineering and dimension reduction. For the latest on my AI course and projects, click subscribe and the bell next to it to be notified of every new video. Transfer learning can also be used for feature engineering. Say, for example, you were going to classify images, but not just the image. Maybe you wanted an image of somebody and you were going to put other statistics in there as well, like their age, their gender, uh, and other things, so that maybe the neural network might give you some health assessment for them, again, using a life insurance industry example, which is what I do for my, my day job. Here, we're going to simply look at how you might rip off the top layer of one of these neural networks that you typically transfer and use what's underneath for feature engineering. I'm going to go ahead and run this introductory part. We're basically, this is code like we had before. I am grabbing essentially an image here. It's a, it's a soccer ball and I display the soccer ball and I leave the neural network so that there's not an output layer. This is like we were going to do a transfer learning, except let me actually go ahead and display the model summary. So if I run that, I can see now the, the typical input for a 224 by 224 image that comes in goes through all of these, and instead of classifying it into the 1,000 images that were the classification classes for this type of a neural network, we're taking the final layer that it was trained on, which just so happens to be a vector of 1,024. So you can see basically here is that vector of 1,024. It's relatively sparse, which is kind of interesting. So it's these are essentially the feature types that the dense layers at the end of this would have learned to recognize and classify it. You can simply pull these off and use those as engineered features as part of your feature vector. So you're, you would have your 1024 values that came from whatever image you had classified. And it's not classifying it all the way to soccer ball, it's classifying it to all of those individual features that you see here that the dense layers would have been able to use to tell that it's a soccer ball. So you're getting that raw feature engineered input that the CNN has produced for you. And that can be then used as a way to encode an image or just like we saw in the last part, you can do something very similar to encode a string value for natural language processing with an embedding layer. Thank you for watching this video. In the next module, we're going to begin to look at time series. This content changes often, so subscribe to the channel to stay up to date on this course and other topics in artificial intelligence.